here now we discuss about uh, a device venturimeter which is used to measure the rate of fluid flow and also velocity of fluid flow now the construction of the venturimeter is like this it is containing a tube of a varying area of cross sections it is the tube of a larger area of cross section it is a tube of a nar narrow area of cross section and it is a tube of a larger area of cross section now the tube of narrow area of narrow area of cross section small area of cross section is called here this is a constriction is called a constriction or a throat is called constriction or throat now the tube of a larger area of cross section is connected to one limb of the manometer and uh, this throat or constriction is connected to another limb of the manometer now this manometer is filled with a liquid of a density rho l rho l is the density of liquid in the manometer and uh, here rho is the density of the fluid for which we have to measure the velocity of fluid now we want to measure the velocity of fluid flow suppose uh, the fluid is flowing with a velocity v1 the fluid which is flowing it is allowed to flow along this tube now the fluid is flowing with a velocity through this tube uh, with a velocity v1 and for the tube uh, area is a1 at this uh, in this tube we consider a point 1 at point 1 pressure is p1 in constriction we point 2 at point 2 pressure is p2 at point 1 pressure is p1 at point 2 pressure is p2 now according to equation of continuity we know av is equals to constant and v inversely proportional to the area see at constriction area is small if area is small velocity will be more here a2 less than a1 according to this relation we write a v2 greater than v1 so velocity at construction is more than velocity at uh, this larger tube now v2 greater than v1 now if v2 greater than v1 according to Bernoulli's theorem of uh, horizontal flows p2 less than p1 here we know that Bernoulli's theorem is that p plus rho g h plus a uh, half rho v square is equals to constant For horizontal flows, for horizontal flows, the Bernoulli's theorem can be stated as a p plus half rho v square is equals to constant. This is a Bernoulli's theorem for horizontal flows. In case of horizontal flow, the both the points of a tube of flow are at same height h1 is equal to h2 then no work done against the gravitational force by the gravitational force so that the height term is not present uh, in uh, this equation so you get p plus of rho v square is equal to constant from this equation we understand that the reason where pressure is more there kinetic energy is less means velocity is less if pressure is more velocity will be less if pressure is less the reason where pressure is less their velocity is more here here velocity is more so pressure will be less here velocity is less so pressure is more so here v2 greater than v1 so p2 less than p1 yes now this is a uh, according to equation of point rate, this uh, this according to the Bernoulli's theorem of horizontal flow now what we have to find we have to find the velocity of fluid flow means with what velocity fluid is flowing that is with velocity v1 we have to find now let us apply the here fluid is flowing horizontally for horizontal flow we apply the Bernoulli's theorem as a p plus half rho v square is equals to constant it is a Bernoulli's theorem for horizontal flows from this we write a p1 plus a half rho v1 square is equal to p2 plus a half rho v2 square now <coughs> p1 minus p2 is equals to p1 minus p2 can be written as a half rho is common half rho into taken p to this side p1 minus p to this term taken this side half rho v2 square minus uh, half rho v1 square half rho is common so we write v2 square minus v1 square now p1 minus p2 is equals to half rho into taking v1 square common half v1 square into 
v2 square by v1 square minus 1 as here what is p1 minus p2 p1 minus p2 means uh, here this is the point where pressure is p2 this is the point where pressure is p1 now here we construct a this is the point a and this is the point b both the points are at same horizontal level so at point a and point b, at point b pressure is same so at point b also pressure is a p1 now this is the region of a cylinder of height h so at the top pressure p2 is acting at the bottom pressure p1 is acting we know at the bottom more pressure will act at the top less pressure will act so p1 minus p2 is equal to rho g h here why does liquid rises in the limb of uh, in second limb why because at in this region pressure is less p2 is less if pressure is less then what happens uh, the liquid will be sucked up like uh, when we drink a uh, a juice uh, from the bottle through the straw first of all we suck the air through the straw then uh, pressure will be decreased in the straw so thereafter liquid will be raised in the straw in the same way in this uh, reason the pressure will be decreased if pressure decreased uh, the liquid is sucked uh, means the liquid is rises so liquid rises to the height h due to the pressure difference in the both the limbs now here the pressure difference is p1 minus p2 that is equals to rho gh so here p1 minus p2 is replaced with uh, rho gh so i write uh, rho gh is equals to half rho v1 square into v2 square minus v1 square minus 1.